we are going to cover important COVID-19 terms which are in news and these are important from Plim's perspective and you can expect at least two to three questions around it. So these are basically science and technology related questions. To start with, we would cover what do you mean by immunoglobulins? That is different type of immunoglobulins. What is the reverse transcriptase PCR? Then we would cover difference between RNA and DNA. Then we would cover various institutions such as National Institute, Institution of Virology Pune. Then important scheme of government of India that is IDSP. What do you mean by plasma therapy? What To start with one of the important scheme which you should know that is integrated disease surveillance program it is under ministry of health and family welfare and world bank also help us to implement this scheme under this scheme what we do is improve our surveillance system to identify early outbreaks of any disease or epidemic so that we can take quick action against it so it's a very important scheme of mo uh, ministry of health and family welfare under this scheme, various public health institutions have to report to the government about any increase in specific number of diseases. So in this, the hospitals have to report to the government if in this the in the in this the government in this the hospital have to report to the government if they find any spike in the number of cases with respect to any specific disease so that it helps in early detection of the the next important thing which is in use is immunoglobulins immunoglobulins are plasma proteins which are present in our blood system and which help in fighting bacteria and viruses so you should know about this immunoglobulins next important thing you should know about that is they are produced by b lymphocytes and they're also known as plasma cells so this is important thing so immunoglobulins are a protein which help in <coughs> so <coughs> the second most important thing you should know about is immunoglobulins these are the second most important thing which you should know about is immunoglobulins these are y-shaped protein which are present in our blood cells they are produced by beta cells <coughs> the second most important term which you should know is about immunoglobulins these are y-shaped protein present in our body and which helps in protecting ourselves from bacteria and viruses so you should know about immunoglobulins they are produced by b cells or b lymphocytes cells and they are also known as plasma cells so this question can come there are various types of immunoglobulin first immunoglobulin which you should know is igm this is the immunoglobulin which is primarily produced after any infection so if there is new infection initially which type of immunoglobulin would be produced that is igm after a point IgG would be produced. So you should know that the first response is of IgM immunoglobulins and second is IgG immunoglobulins. With respect to IgG immunoglobulins, you should know that they cross placenta also. So this is the only immunoglobulin which cross placenta. IgE immunoglobulins is generated during any allergic reaction. During allergic reaction. IgA immunoglobulin helps in protecting our mucosa from any infection. So you should know about these few important immunoglobulins. Uh, present in our blood cells and I would talk, talk about them when we deal with plasma therapy The next important thing you should know about is plasma. So what do you mean by plasma? plasma is uh, So the blood contains four components first is RBC next is WBC third is platelets and fourth is plasma plasma is the liquid part of our blood it accounts for 55% and it is yellowish in content and it has three components that is antibodies protein and electrolyte these antibodies are in the form of immunoglobulins so immunoglobulins are present in plasma so what is the role of plasma the primary aim is to maintain temperature and transportation and removal of waste so these are the two important functions of plasma you should know about uh, uh, so in plasma convalescent plasma therapy which is being proposed to deal with COVID-19, what we are trying to do is we are taking plasma of a healthy 
recovered patient from covid 19 so this patient would have many immunoglobulins that is igg and igm and this this plasma would be injected into a sick patient who is dealing with covid 19 so in such situation what would happen is these immunoglobulins would target the virus so it would provide immunity to the patient and this type of immunity immunity is known as passive immunity so next organization which you should know about is national center for disease control it's also in use and it is based in new delhi and this organization is a center for excellence for controlling communicable diseases so on that perspective you should know about that and it provides uh, various expertise in the form of surveillance in the form of research in the form of training the health personnel and uh, dealing with the outbreak of any epidemic so you should know about this center that is national center for disease control one of the other thing which is in use because of coronavirus is dna and rna and you should know that coronavirus is an rna virus so genetic material can be both dna and rna in human beings the genetic material is dna but in viruses few viruses have dna as their genetic material and few viruses have rna as their genetic material so you should know about this uh, coronavirus that it is an rna virus so dna so in this uh, part we would look into difference between dna and rna the uh, the full form of dna is deoxyribonucleic acid and uh, the full form of rna is ribonucleic acid there are four nucleotides uh, which forms dna that is adenine thymine uh, cytosine and guanine and rna is formed by adenine guanine cytosine and uracil the thymine part is replaced by uracil so you should know about this dna is mostly or always double stranded whereas rna is single stranded and dna is longer in length and rna is short in length so you should know on this perspective there's one more term which is in use that is reverse transcriptase pcr so what do you mean by reverse transcriptase pcr so first reverse transcriptase is a mechanism in which we are converting rna into dna so the pro the 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 process is done by the process known as reverse transcriptase so this you should know in the reverse transcriptase pcr it is one of the important tests which is used for diagnosis of covid 19 that is for diagnosis of virus so in this what we do is we take the virus the rna of the virus then we convert this rna into dna through reverse transcriptase process this dna is then converted into multiple copies through a process known as polymerase chain reaction which is an also an important reaction this this pcr technique is also used in dna fingerprinting so ye question aa sakta hai and this multiple copies are then matched with the copies of the actual virus and when this matching is successful you are, you are diagnosed with uh, the covid 19 to hum kya kar rahe hain ki hum rna ko dna mein convert kar rahe hain dna ka multiple copies kar uh, taiyar kar rahe hain and then jo multiple copies hame uh, patient se mile hain hum usse actual jo hamare paas uh, jo bhi standard hai uh, uh, iska uh, covid 19 virus ka usko match kar rahe agar ye match ho gaya to then we know that the patient has uh, then the patient has covid 19 next uh, important test which is also used rapid test in this what we are diagnosing is igm immunoglobulins these immunoglobulins are specific to certain uh, to specific viruses to agar hum igm diagnose kar paaye hain body kabhi bhi agar virus infected hota hai to there is a reaction and the first immunoglobulin which is uh, generated is igm agar early stage mein hame agar hum igm test kar paaye agar igm us specific specific type ke igm mile to we know that it is from covid 19 so ye on that perspective uh, rapid test what we do is we diagnose or we uh, igm match karte hain agar is tarike se hum kya kar rahe hain hum cut short kar rahe hain rapid test kar rahe hain and so uh, uh, you you should know about these two tests there's one more organization which you should know that is cdso and this is central drug standards control organization it's also under ministry of health and family welfare and the functions are assigned under drug 
एंड कॉस्मेटिक एक्ट तो ड्रग एंड कॉस्मेटिक एक्ट आपको पता चाहिए उसके अंडर इसको फंक्शन है द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ सी डी ओ सो इज टू रेगुलेट इम्पोर्ट ऑफ ड्रग गिव अप्रूवल टू न्यू ड्रग यू गिव अप्रूवल टू क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स तो ये सब इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क किसका है सीडीएसओ का है साइमल्टेनियसली टू एंश्योर दैट द प्रॉपर स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ऑफ द प्रॉपर स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ऑफ द ड्रग्स तो ये सब लाइसेंसिंग इट एक्ट एज अ लाइसेंसिंग अथॉरिटी ऑल्सो एंड रेगुलेटर फॉर ड्रग क्वालिटी एंड फॉर क्लिनिकल ट्रायल ऑल्सो सो क्लिनिकल ट्रायल भी न्यूज है तो परमिशन इन इंडिया विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्लिनिकल ट्रायल इज गिवन बाय सीडीएसओ तो दिस क्वेश्चन कैन ऑल्सो कम Uh, one more organization which is in news is National Institute of Virology. It's in Pune and it's a research institute under ICMR. So, ये आपको पता चाहिए. ICMR is an uh, bio. Uh, it's a uh, most important organization for biomedical research in India, and uh, and it also comes under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And this is the organization presently uh, which is dealing with the testing and doing research on. वायरस तो ये एक इम्पोर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है इंडेक्स केस इज ऑल्सो न्यूज इंडेक्स केस इज द फर्स्ट केस इन कम्युनिटी उस केस को इंडेक्स केस बोलते हैं तो यू शुड नो अबाउट दिस द नेक्स्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज इन न्यूज इज डब्ल्यू एच ओ इट वॉज फॉर्म इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट द हेड क्वार्टर इज इन स्विटरलैंड एंड वन नाइनटी फोर कंट्रीज आर पार्ट ऑफ इट and it reports to economic and social council so ek aur ek information aapko pata chahiye the two declaration uh, uh, you should know about this that is alma ata declaration which aimed at focusing on public health care and which is accessible to all to to ye do part aapko pata chahiye and uh, recently after 40 years of alma ata declaration astana declaration was signed and astana declaration also focuses on primary health care and accessibility to all the patients to health to ye aapko pata chahiye with respect to astana declaration next is uh, who is also part of un development group to ye ek additional information aapko pata chahiye there is one more organization which is in news that is uh, pm care fund uh, which was recently constituted the chairman is prime minister and its members are defense minister home minister and finance minister and uh, companies can contribute to this fund and they are Uh, and it would be uh, equal or it could it would be qualified for uh, corporate social responsibility to ye aapko pm care fund ke bare mein pata chahiye and the last point uh, which we are going to look is uh, which you should know is about epidemic act it was formulated in 1897 during british times and under section there was various sections uh, so ye epidemic act gives extraordinary power to central government and state government to take measures to control epidemic to aapko ye pata chahiye uh, uh, under section 3 uh, the uh, the government can impose a uh, restriction and anyone who do not follow it would be punished so under section 4 uh, government employees are protected against any action if uh, action taken under this act तो ये आपको एपिडेमिक एक्ट के बारे में पता चाहिए दो हेल्थ इज अ स्टेट सब्जेक्ट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट कैन आल्सो इवोक दिस एपिडेमिक एक्ट एंड पुट एंड गिव डायरेक्शन टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू टू टेक नेसेसरी स्टेप्स तो ये एपिडेमिक एक्ट का सेक्शन थ्री एंड सेक्शन फोर स्पेसिफिकली आपको पता चाहिए एंड यू शुड नो दैट हेल्थ इज अ स्टेट सब्जेक्ट स्टिल द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट कैन गिव डायरेक्शन टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इन्वोकिंग एपिडेमिक एक्ट Uh, hope you like this lecture uh, please let us know uh, on which topic you want the next next lecture to be please share our channel join our telegram channel